Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to get cheap anime posters, video game posters, basketball posters, literally anything you want for a dirt cheap, like range from like 15 cents to $3, depending on the quality. So yeah, let's get into it. So first, obviously you need the poster you want. What I recommend is just go on Pinterest. They have like a shit ton of things. Just, you can literally just search like Japanese poster design. A ton of things come up right here. You can go to like, click on any, there are so even more that are related. There's a ton like, cute posters you can go down like a rabbit hole of like all types of different posters and stuff so yeah i can i'll link some in the description as well if you guys want to see <clears throat> there's also basketball ones you want some inspirational like sports ones or anything some kobe on your wall for some inspiration when you wake up and yeah here's some more manga ones i got um i'm using this one actually for a death note one and here's some more I just searched Xenoblade, a ton of come up, like, this one's pretty sick, right here. And you can also just try to just Google it, like, a ton of things are going to come up too. Obviously though, make sure the quality is good, because some of these are, like, pretty bad quality on Google images. But Pinterest should have, like, most things on Pinterest should have really good quality. Just make sure it has good quality though. So yeah, once you find, um, what you want, just go ahead and save it to your desktop or anywhere you want. So once you're ready, go ahead and go over to FedEx, but make sure you use the link in the description because they made it so you can only order 50, like the minimum you can order is 50. So obviously you don't want like 50 posters, like way too many, it's cost you like $50. So yeah, make sure to use this link. Because this link lets you use just one poster and doesn't make you order 50 at a time, which is nice. So yeah, go ahead and just go to your folder, wherever you save them. I save them all in this one folder, just I'm just gonna go ahead and grab all of them and drag them in. It's gonna load for a second, but just give it some time. Okay, now that they're all loaded in, it's always gonna say your file has low resolution, but like literally I tried it with so many, they're all gonna say this. Just ignore it. Obviously make sure it does have like good resolution, but it's always gonna say this. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and go into this one. Now you're here, it's gonna show the image and you can have a ton of these options on the side. The size, eight and a half by 11, eight and a half by 14, 11 by 17. You can just choose whichever you want. I usually just go with 11 by 17 or 8 and a half by 11 if it's like a manga panel. And for paper, if the most expensive one is gloss cover, which is like I'll show you guys once I get them. It's $3, but I think it's pretty worth it. It's still pretty cheap, 3 bucks, And the quality is pretty good for the price. You need to make sure it's full color unless it's like a manga thing. I guess you could have it like black and white. It makes it a lot cheaper too. And yeah, it's basically it. Just like, the, just the color, the paper you want. You can just have normal laser, which is really cheap. Just gloss. Yeah, there's a lot of options, but I recommend just the... Uh, I recommend either laser, the normal one, or you can go for the gloss cover. And for the normal paper, I recommend the black and white ones for like manga covers or manga panels. And I recommend 8.5x11 for those because then you can fit like a ton on your wall and it can look hella sick once you put like a shit ton on your wall like all spread out. And since it's manga, you can obviously just put black and white and it's gonna be super cheap. Literally 15 cents for like a manga panel as black and white. And yeah, it's basically you can just go ahead and add it to your cart. Check out. You can have to sign in as well, but I'm just gonna proceed as a guest. And yeah, I recommend just picking it up because delivery is gonna cost you like $10 which is basically just be the like double the price of the posters. So yeah, I recommend just picking it up. They're usually really fast on it. Like last time I ordered, I made a pickup. They asked like what time you want to pick it up. And I said like in two days, but it was ready within like two hours. So yeah, they're usually really fast. And yeah, it's basically, I'm gonna show you guys what posters I got now. Here are the posters I ended up getting. This Evangelion one. For this one, I just did the normal paper, black and white. It was only like 15 cents. It's a eight by 11. 8.5 by 11. This one's also 8.5 by 11. This one, they got the the most expensive one, the $3 one, the gloss cover. Came out pretty good, actually. This is one of my favorites. This Nana cover. And next one, same quality and same size. This Death Note one. Again, the quality is pretty good for like this design. And this one, again, just a gloss cover. And this one is a 8.5 by 17, I think. No, it's a 11 by 17. So yeah, this one's pretty big, so the world, the world ends a few one. So yeah. And here are a couple already like cut out and hung up. These are some Nana ones, eight and a half by 11, only 15 cents. 
this Final Fantasy one, three dollars. The it was a gloss one, and the quality isn't the best on this one, like as you can tell. But like if you put if you come back, you can't really tell like at all. And they're gonna come out with these like white borders because it doesn't fill the whole paper. But obviously, you just cut them, cut around them, and make sure they look nice, and just hang them up on your wall. And yeah, it's basically, I make videos on manga, video games, all that type of stuff. So if you find this helpful or anything like that, make sure to subscribe and check out my channel.